What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome back to an update on Ethereum Proof of Work or um, as, as we're going to call it in this video, Ethereum W, that's that's the abbreviation, ETH W is the abbreviation as you can see, but it's the, oh, what, what was the other one? Oh, that's wrapped, wrapped, wow. Well. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's it's Ethereum proof of work, which was um, this is the original Ethereum before before uh, the, the the merge. The merge is a hard fork of of the blockchain, and Ethereum W is a continuation of the blockchain. Um, all right, and I wanted to cover it today because it was requested quite a bit to do an update on it. Obviously, we had a had quite a strong bull run all the way up to fourteen dollars uh, not too long ago. Uh, about a week ago, that was great, was amazing. After that, we uh, had quite a quite, quite a big drop, and I thought we would even drop down lower. To be honest with you, I thought we would drop down to eight dollars and seven point five. Still possible, but um, I thought we would do that earlier. So, um, so yeah, in this video, I kind of wanted to uh, mainly talk about the price um, because some some interesting market formations are uh, are forming, and apart from that, the general market circumstances in in crypto are pretty. Uh, interesting to say the least too. So we'll take a look at both of them. Uh, apart from that, you can see 1.3 billion market cap. I think that's quite high. Um, obviously in a bull market, it's probably going to increase, but but for, for a, um, I'm, I'm not sure what the value is of, of the of Ethereum proof of work um, right now. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not sure if this market cap is justified. I, I'm, I'm kind of of the school that a market cap is earned. Uh, right, and I don't think the the people that um, that that kind of develop on Ethereum proof of uh, POW right now, I'm not sure if they deserved it. Maybe they deserve it by keeping alive the original blockchain, uh, the original proof of work version of of the Ethereum blockchain. Um, apart from ETC, which has also done that, but but way earlier. Um, but apart from that, I I, th I think it's relatively high. So that doesn't necessarily say, say anything about the price because obviously, uh, crypto doesn't really care about your feelings, right? But apart from that, I mean, uh, volume is good. It's at 15% of the market cap. That's all very healthy. Um, so yeah, wanted to take a look at it. I, I think Ethereum POW is distributed over every exchange now. Um, it's You don't see Binance yet here, but I, I think it has been distributed too, to all the Binance users. Um, so yeah, let's actually take a look at the price and those interesting, uh, interesting structures and formations I was talking about. Uh, so the main thing is, and, and, and I'm going to drag this away a little bit, what you can see is that, first of all, at, at a first glance, is that we're pretty neutral, we're just consolidating. Um, but what, what you see afterwards is that you can see that we have this very strong resistance level, first of all, $11. Um, that's already one resistance level, but just above that, at around 11.6 and $12, there's a very strong one too. Um, and then apart from that, you also have this very strong level at $10, a big psychological support level. Um, and here uh, at, at around nine point five and nine dollars. So, so you have two. You have a very tight range right here, which I'm going to make orange for a little bit. That's not orange. This is orange. Uh, you have this very tight range, and then around that you have a little bit of a bigger range, which is even stronger. Uh, and that is what we are in right now. And apart from that, it's it's not even only that. You can also see if we zoom in a little bit. Um, and usually I'm not really a fan of, of structures like these, but it does really stand for something, I think, for Ethereum W right now. And uh, you can see that we've kind of been making lower highs at the top. And from this bottom, we've actually been making higher lows, as you can see. This is a very slight higher low, but still. Um, so, so what we're going to get, especially if the volume remains high, because a breakout can only occur if volume is high, uh, what we're going to get is a breakout. And apart from that, I mean, as I said earlier, the market is also going up and down. I mean, Bitcoin is at 19,500 again. Check out this. I mean, we went up, went down, went up again. So I, de I definitely think it's possible. To me, um, what's going to happen is we could actually stay in this consolidation uh, for, I don't know long, how long, for, for at least a couple of days. It's very possible, but at some point it's going to burst. All right, we're either going to break above 11.7 after which we will get up to $14 so that is this scenario which I'm going to delete now or we're going to burst uh, down to to the other side and we're going to break below mm, let's say let's say 9.5 after which we will drop down to this level right here at uh, 8 and 7.5 so to me I mean it's waiting for one of these two scenarios to happen and I think 
Um, which one is more likely right now is really hard to say because technically it looks even. Technically it, it definitely looks 50-50. Uh, taking a look at the market circumstances right now, because that's another big factor playing a role in, in what way we're going to break out, um, is not great too, because <laughs> I mean, it's very volatile. It's not, it's, it's more bearish than bullish, but um, over the last seven days, we've had some great bullish moves too. So um, it's, it's just for, for a little bit over the long term, it's going to be this. Before this happens, we might just consolidate for another week. Um, but something like this is going to happen and, um, and and if it's a little bit more clear which one of those two is probably going to be I will make another update but for now this is just my, my price analysis I'd say the bullish one is a little bit more likely just to end this video but uh, for now that's it so if you do have any questions about it feel free to ask me down in the comments uh, but for now I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos bye